Hey, what's up, guys? So I was uh, looking at Matthew chapter 21, and I saw Jesus teaching his disciples, telling them that if they had faith, they were going to be able to tell a mountain to move, and it will be done so. If they believed, Jesus cursed the fig tree. It withered away, right? It dried up. It was cursed indeed because Jesus had authority. And then Jesus was in the temple teaching. And it said that the chief priest, that religious leaders walked in there and started to question Jesus like, hey, what, by what, by what authority are you coming in? What authority do you have to teach? What authority do you have to say these things, to do these things? What authority do you have, Jesus? And who gave you that authority, Jesus? These are the, the chief priests, right? Those with titles, right? Those with positions, right? Those who thought they spoke for God, right? And here is God in the flesh, right? The one who would tell everybody who was ever going to be right with God or become right with God, everything about how to get right with God through himself. He is the way. He reconciled the world to himself through himself, right? And they're questioning his authority. That's crazy. Their own God, their own creator. And uh, I was reminded of the authority that Jesus gave us, every disciple, every Christian, every believer of him, everybody who believes in his name, who confesses him as Lord, who wants to preach his gospel. I was reminded how he gave every single one of us, not just the authority, but the instruction to share the gospel with unbelievers, to preach the gospel with every creature, to be the light of the world everywhere we go, to tell people that Jesus Christ is the way, that they need to leave their sins, believe in Jesus, follow Jesus, to be made right with God. They must be born again. If not, they're not right with God. They're still at enmity with God. They're going to live in sin. God's going to judge them according to the works. They're not going to please God, and he's going to send them to hell, right? So that's the responsibility that every single one of us uh, Christians have. And not only is that a duty, not only is that a responsibility, but guys, it's the authority that Jesus gave us to do so. He told us, go and preach. Freely you have received, freely give. He told us, heal the sick. Cast out demons in my name. That's a lot of authority to Christians. He said, go, preach the gospel. Make disciples. Teach them everything I taught you. Lay hands on the sick. You'll see them recover. Cast out demons in my name. That's Jesus' words to those who would follow him. Those who would learn from him and follow him and those who want to preach the gospel that Jesus once preached in this world. Y'all see what I'm saying? Jesus told Christians to preach to unbelievers about himself. About the kingdom of God coming soon. About God judging all people soon. God's going to make a new heaven and a new earth. He's going to consume the earth. People are going to raise up from the dead and be judged by the Lord. They're going to either be allowed into his kingdom or they're going to be sent to the lake of fire where there's never ending torment. And Jesus told us to preach, tell people about this, tell people the bad news that they're not right with me. The bad news that soon I will come and they will be judged and my wrath is real. The bad news about hell, but teach them the good news that I'm the way, that they can be right with God, that they can be forgiven of their sins, that they can be born again, that can be justified just by faith and they don't even have to be Jews. They can be Gentiles too. Jesus told us to preach. He gave us the authority to preach and to exercise power over demons and sicknesses. A pastor doesn't have to give you authority to preach the gospel. You may need the, the pastor's permission to preach in his church. You may need the pastor's approval and blessing to become an elder or a pastor in his church. But you don't need any man's authority to share the gospel with unbelievers, to make disciples, to baptize people, to lay hands on the sick and cast out demons in the name of Jesus. You don't need nobody's authority to do these things. Every Christian is supposed to be out here preaching the gospel with unbelievers, healing the sick, casting out demons, telling them the things that Jesus told us to tell the world about his kingdom coming soon. Every Christian is supposed to do this. Jesus told all of us to do it and gave us the authority to do it. We don't need a permission from no pastor, 
no ministry, nobody. We may need their permission if we want to preach at their church, if they want to make us leaders, if they find us worthy of being leaders in their church. But that's their church. Their church ain't the world. Unbelievers are in the world, not in their church. And Jesus wants us to share the gospel with unbelievers. Come on. Hello. So who gave us this authority? God. Jesus. What authority do we have to preach and to cast out demons and heal the sick? To make disciples. To teach them the things Jesus taught the original disciples. That's the authority we have, and that's who gave it to us. So don't let nobody tell you you have to do this, 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 and that in order to evangelize, in order to share the gospel. Everybody's supposed to be a witness of Christ, a light in this world. And it's a shame that people get told that the authority comes from a pastor or the authority comes from a ministerial alliance. It comes from being older, under a ministry or being ordained. The authority don't come from the ordination. The authority don't come from Bible college and Christian university. The authority doesn't come from somebody call, calling you a pastor or an elder or an overseer or a youth pastor or an evangelist. That's not where the authority comes from. The authority comes from Jesus and he told us to pre preach the gospel to every creature. Cast out demons, heal the sick. Freely you receive, freely give. The authority comes from the Lord. Amen. And another thing that's crazy, and it's a shame that most of these pastors, most of these preachers that act all bold in their church, they're never out here sharing the gospel with unbelievers. They're never out here laying their hands on the sick and preaching about the kingdom of God coming soon with unbelievers and strangers. They're shy then. They scared then. They ain't missed the super Christian then, right? Telling, telling people, unless they, we have their blessing, we can't share the gospel out here, preach out here, baptize people in the name of Jesus out here, lay hands on the sick out here. But most of these pastors don't have the boldness or the guts or the wisdom, the love of, of people, right, to be out here evangelizing. That's not Christian, y'all. Stop listening to these TV preachers and TV preacher wannabes. Right. The authority comes from Jesus. He wants you out. Step out of your comfort zone. Step out of your church. Step out of your house. Step out of your job. It's not just about going to church and tithing to the church. It's not. It, it, that's not what Christianity is about. You're supposed to be getting equipped by your pastor to do ministry out here. And if they're not equipping you or they're not they, or if they're telling you you don't have authority or you're not ready yet. Come on, you you're probably in the wrong place. Jesus said, share the gospel. You have authority from who? Jesus. The authority to do what? To preach, to lay hands on the sick and see them recover, to cast out demons, to baptize people. Come on, to tell them the things Jesus taught you. I'm not saying everybody's a pastor. I'm not saying everybody's an apostle or a prophet. I'm not saying that. But every Christian has the authority to preach to unbelievers, to make disciples out of unbelievers to baptize unbelievers, to lay hands on the sick, to cast out demons. Jesus gave you the authority. Not a man, not a pastor, not me, not, not anybody. You hear me? Share this video. Remind a Christian today that the authority comes from God, not from a church, not from a pastor, not from any person, but, but only from Christ himself. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Have you been lied to? Have you been, come on, held back? Come on, by the wrong voice? Come on. Have the bonus. Step out. Share the gospel with the world. Share this video. Like it. Leave a comment. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Let's start growing in truth because there's a lot of people out here preaching lies, keeping people back from the real will of God. Let's grow. Let's evangelize in the name of Jesus, in the authority of Jesus, because he gave it to us, his church. Amen.